In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to call another workflow in N8N. Let's dive right in. First, you're going to want to open up your web browser. Whatever you typically use is perfectly fine. Chrome, Firefox, Edge. Once you're there, navigate over to the official N8N website. This is your main hub for setting up and managing workflows. Once you've landed on the N8N homepage, the next thing you're going to need to do is navigate to the sign-in button. This is usually at the top right-hand corner of the screen. Click on that sign-in button to access your account. If you don't have an account yet, you'll need to create one, but I'll assume you're all set for this tutorial. After signing in, it's now time to get creative by creating a new workflow. You'll see a button somewhere on your dashboard that allows you to start creating. Go ahead and click that. Think of this as your workspace. It's where all the magic begins. Now, to call another workflow, we need to prepare the child workflow, the one that you will be calling from your main or parent workflow. Build out this child workflow in N8N according to your specific needs. Perhaps it sends an email, pulls in some data, whatever fits your process. The critical step here is to make sure it is properly saved and active. If you're planning to trigger it manually, save it as a draft. Otherwise, keep it activated so it's ready to do its thing. For calling this workflow, we'll be adding an Execute Workflow node. You can find this node on the left panel. Drag and drop the Execute Workflow node into your workspace. This node is key because it facilitates the connection between your parent workflow and this newly crafted child workflow. Next, you need to configure this Execute Workflow node. This process is straightforward. You'll be selecting the child workflow you previously created. There should be a drop-down or selection menu. Choose your child workflow from there. This selection will enable the parent workflow to call and execute it smoothly. Alternatively, if you want to trigger the child workflow externally, you can employ a different approach by using a webhook or an HTTP request node instead of the execute workflow node. For this method, ensure that your child workflow is equipped with a webhook trigger to receive the external trigger successfully. This is an excellent way to integrate with external systems or events, giving you flexibility and control over when and how the child workflow is executed. And that's it! You now have a good grasp on how to call another workflow in N8N. Whether you're using the Execute Workflow node or an external trigger like a webhook, this is a powerful way to build dynamic, interconnected automations. Thanks for watching, and happy automating!